The Republican Party has hit a, quote, new level of panic about their nominee. That's how one veteran operative put it to the Washington Post. You're getting a live look now at Jacksonville, Florida, where Donald Trump is set to hold a rally. It has been an unprecedented week for the GOP nominee. He's faced intense backlash from both allies and opponents over his combative response to a Gold Star family that criticized him at the DNC. He made apparent his lack of knowledge related to Ukraine and Russia, where he seemed to think that Russia had not sent forces into Ukraine. And he's refused to endorse House Speaker Paul Ryan and Senator John McCain in their upcoming GOP primaries. Amid all of that, he also managed to boot, although I did see reports <laughs> disputing this, well, he wasn't actually booting out the crying baby, uh, but there was some scandal over that uh, from a rally. And on Tuesday, President Obama declared Trump unfit and, quote, woefully unprepared to serve as president and asked Republicans why they're still endorsing Trump as their party's standard bearer. Our Major Garrett, there he is, who is in Jacksonville, Florida. Major, where to start? Let me just begin by asking you this. You talked to Newt Gingrich on Wednesday, a Trump ally, a runner up for the VP slot. What did he tell you? Well, I talked to the speaker, the former speaker. I said, hey, were you quoted accurately when the Washington Post said that Trump was making himself as unacceptable as Hillary Clinton by his recent self-inflicted wounds? And Gingrich said, yes, Trump was making himself as unacceptable in this race as Hillary Clinton. And then I said, do you think Trump can withstand this? He said, yes. He goes, I'm still with Trump 100 percent, but... The speaker, the former speaker, Newt Gingrich, said Trump has to become more disciplined, and if he doesn't, he runs a real risk of, running, of, of losing this campaign. I asked the speaker, have you given Trump any special advice this week? He wouldn't go into that, but I can tell you, Elaine, Gingrich is one of the most frequent and influential advisors within the small world of frequent and influential Trump advisors. So. If Gingrich is saying what he said to me in the Washington Post publicly, I'm sure he's saying much the same to Trump in private. The great question is, will Trump heed any of these requests that border on pleas from Republicans to tighten up his messaging, focus on Hillary Clinton, focus on issues that got him to be the nominee of the Republican Party in the first place, and stop creating fights for himself with other Republicans or wandering off into issues that don't work for him and that only bring him criticism or negative publicity. There's no evidence that Trump's going to do that. As a matter of fact, Elaine, I can tell you that based on conversations I've had with those who were present late last week in Colorado at a private fundraiser with all these GOP donors sitting around, Trump just flatly declared, all you people want me to be presidential. Why should I become presidential? I wasn't presidential in the primaries and look how far I've gotten. I'm not going to become presidential. You're just going to have to deal with it. And that's sort of an insight into what Trump thinks about himself, what he thinks about what he's achieved, and why he's resistant to calls bordering on pleas for him to change. Yeah, that is very informative insight. All right, Major Garrett there in Jacksonville. Major, thank you so much.